Okay, so uh, the previous two videos, I thought they were kind of too long and iffy, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go over these, and of course my dogs start barking when I'm recording. So anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna review the past two videos very quickly. So uh, obviously you want to get your Storm Force save and put it in your USB. And then you want to open up advanced mode, and it's going to be the storm4.s. <coughs> and then once this comes up, just scroll down to the offsets on the left. Okay. So these are the offsets on the left. So you want to go down to okay. So the very last preset, and you have to be sure something is there, otherwise you won't be able to find it. <coughs> so. If you haven't made a preset already before putting your save in a USB, go do that right now. That way it's easy to find. Otherwise, you'll be left with zeros. So once you have somebody, then you can find them and replace the numbers. So if you have Naruto Sakura Sasuke on preset 8, you can come over here and replace their, their numbers with whatever's shown here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, Shikadai, Konohamaru, and uh, Yurui. So, if you want those three, it's 7601 for Shikadai, 7901 for Konohamaru. Wait, no. Is it? I don't even remember. Okay, no, 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 no. Uh, I think 79 is Yurui, and then 72 is Konohamaru. I could be wrong, but I, I know it's one of these. Well, no, 76 is Konohamaru, 79 is Yurui, and 72 is Shigadai. I remember now. Because <coughs> Konohamaru pops up first. And then you scroll up. Now here's where the confusion, uh, the confusion in the comment section was uh, was going on about. Like they were they were having trouble about finding the next preset because I told them clear as day that, or I told everybody clear as day it's uh, you'll see three sets of numbers with a bunch of zeros in between. The zeros don't matter; it's the numbers that are here. But if they didn't see anything, they didn't put a preset. So uh, that's why I'm saying this. And again, uh, anything in these zeros, there's nothing until you get to an another set of three numbers. So E5, and then there's a gap of zeros, and then zero, 01. So the, basically, these five lines here, they're one character. Uh, the middle doesn't really matter, but actually, no, 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 uh, this matters, but. These two, they don't matter, but this last one is just the ultimate jutsu finisher. So if you want the first image, the second image, third image, fourth image. And then here's the next one. Oh, here's the next one. D4, and then 01 comes up underneath the E5. And then the last one is 62. Scroll up again, bunch of zeros until you get to the next set of numbers or letters. 2E01, Sage Naruto, No Cloak, 3101, uh, Madara shirtless with one eye open. Scroll up, next set of numbers. 5001, 5D. So 5001 is. Madara from the story mode, but he doesn't have uh, the Senju armor. It's basically just him without the armor. And then FD is your uh, 
your Madara with the black robe and the fan. Scroll up some more. Next set of code right here. <coughs> um, I don't know what ha I don't know what's going on here, but uh, the next set of code is thirty. Uh, now the reason why this ends in O2 is because I have the set of the second ultimate Jutsu finisher, and then sixty-four O one is white hair Robito. And then there's a zero one one right here, but there's nothing in the front because I don't have a character there. There was a character there, but I took him out. Scroll up. 1201, 1201, 1201. Uh, same character, and it's Renegon Sasuke from Final Valley Fight. Scroll up. Uh, 3001. This one's another shirtless Madara, but he has both eyes closed. And 501. Uh, story mode Hashirama, the regular with the Shuriken Jutsu. And everybody says it's broken. It's not as broken as it seems. The only reason why it's broken is because there's so many Shuriken that come out, and it can't do anything, and it's a free guard break or a free ultimate or a free... Uh, combo extender and uh, it is avoidable all you got to do is stay away like uh, if they like to spam it then they're just gonna summon him without uh, without precaution like they're just gonna be like oh he's way over there I'm gonna catch him off guard with uh, Hashirama but here's the thing if you're far away his shurikens either don't reach or they can get I mean they'll reach but they don't summon as many or, when he does catch you, uh, again, it doesn't summon as many. But you can dodge. Like, all you gotta do is si uh, like keep constantly sidestepping. But, you're also paying the price of them dashing at you. So, that's just a little heads up and tip on how to get around it. But, if you're like me, that use it against friends, you're gonna wanna uh, use it while you're comboing into something. So, for example... I'm using Naruto and I'm just mashing circle, but my combo is about to end. I summon Hashirama right before that, and then he extend he basically extends my mashing, or I get a free guard break ultimate, or I get a guard break and I can continue to mash. Not like I mash, but still. <coughs> I know a lot of you guys like to mash, so. Again, more zeros, and here is the final one, which is pre uh, preset one. Uh, this one's a little more confusing because it's got numbers here too, but um, y'all know what it is because it starts with 5D, and 5D01 is Kid Kakashi with uh, the scratched eye. 5B01 is Obito with the... Well, supposedly with the Sharingan, but in game he has nothing. And 4E is Rin. So there's all the presets right there. And if once you're happy with your stuff, just uh, uh, hit apply. Now, since I didn't do anything, I'm just gonna do this anyway. So wait, no, hang on. I actually want to make a change. Uh, went too far. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do this. So, uh, damn it, of course I forget his code. Oh well, that doesn't matter. Uh, I'll fix it later. Uh, 3201. And then, if I wanted to, I could put another Guru Guru there. But I'm not going to because that's too cheap. Now, the reason why I said I forgot his code is because I, I don't remember Toby's code at all. I need to go back and look at it. I don't remember at the top of my head. But uh, if I wanted to put Toby, that I would do. I mean, sure, it's the same thing. You're having two Tobys on a team. But the reason why I say I don't want two Guru Gurus there is because I want Toby. So having three Tobys on a team, I don't think that's going to work because either A, it's going to crash the game, or B, 
it's gonna remove one of the guru gurus and give you um, just a two man team. <coughs> and I'm gonna go with. Uh, damn it. I don't even know what I want anymore. I'm gonna go with. Wait. Yeah, 37 on one. And then. Zero, 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 zero. And now we hit apply. Yes. This thing is really slow today. Usually it's quicker. It's probably because I have OBS up. But once you're done with that, you can save your game like that. Modification successfully applied. Hit OK. There you go. Exit out. Put your USB back in the PS4. Put your save back on the PS4. There you go. And now... Uh... The codes that everybody's been asking about, the full roster codes, uh, I decided I'm not going to do those just yet because I'm going to wait until the DLC comes out. That way everybody's back on and everybody's aware of what's going on and like everybody's going to be like, oh yeah, we're going to use these uh, uh, new Road to Boruto costumes that are coming out. We're going to be using Momoshiki Kinshiki, but little do they know is that I'm still going to have the the story mode ones, the ones that don't have a complete move set, unless they update that one and they have the complete move set, but we'll find out. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the, the little brain refresher of what to do on this little tutorial. I'll see you guys next time.